yeah hi students i am dr badrinath in this video we will see the one compartment open model for iv infusion infusion is different injection is different in the last video we saw the drug kinetics in iv injection here see this is a difference between the infusion see this is infusion bottle okay from here drug is entered directly into the systemic circulation here also there is no absorption phase no absorption rate is there rate of speed of entry of the drug into the body rate will be there no absorption okay absorption rate constant will not be there okay absorption rate constant no okay uh, so the, these topics we will cover model what is the description what will be the equations for the calculation of the uh, drug present in the body after half an hour after one hour after two hours after three hours after the infection uh, infusion and the graph also we will see uh, how the graph will be and we will derive the equation uh, how to derive yeah see this is a basic model here one compartment model is there so that's why we are imagining our body as a only one compartment that is a entry of a, only one compartment entire body is considered as a single compartment okay very good okay and since it is a Uh, see here keep in mind either it is a highly perfused organs low perfused organs variety of organs variety of tissues whatever it may be all the things everything is on the one uh, box all behave like a same like that we have imagined and we have kept all this description you have to write in the exam right since the it is a iv infusion drug is directly entered into the blood so there is no absorption is involved instead of that we are using rate of infusion not the rate of absorption rate of infusion very important that's why we are using r0 this is always infusion wherever it comes zero order zero because once we adjusted the two drops uh, per uh, per single time for two drops or three drops or five drops per second same will be maintained throughout the body either you are increasing the concentration of a drug in the bottle or whatever it may be constantly two drops per second you adjusted means at that it's a zero order that's why okay rate of speed of entry of the drug into the body it is called as a rate of absorb uh, rate of uh, infusion right okay so that's why here you write the zero order infusion rate right it is indicated by r0 and the elimination is always there since it is a open model since we use it the worm it is not closed model it is open model open model means elimination will be there okay so elimination is there so ke elimination rate constant elimination is always first first order it is follows the linear kinetics so you have to write here here if you want you can write also first order infusion uh, first order elimination like that if you want you can mention here okay first order infusion right now we come to the equation this is a very important equation to determine what will be the drug concentration in the body after giving a infusion during the infusion <coughs> that and all we can calculate with the help of easily see this is the these are the two equations used to determine the concentration of a drug at any time after 10 hours also while doing in infusion you can calculate c is nothing but a concentration of a drug in the body is equal to css concentration of a drug at steady state this is one of the term it comes in this infusion only infusion concentration at steady state into 1 1 minus e to the power of minus ke elimination rate constant t is nothing but a time at which time you want concentration after 6 hours you want to know the concentration this is the 6 if you want to know the concentration of the drug in the body after 1 hour then t is equal to 1 that's it okay there is a you can determine the if you know elimination rate constant you can use this equation steady state concentration elimination the only these two values you required ke css this is one we know if you don't know the ke and if you know the n only n is nothing but a number of half lives see here number of half how many half lives are already completed if you kept this see if drug half life is uh, half an hour you want to know the concentration of drug after 1 hour then n is equal to 2 like that very simple very simple number of half lives okay after 10 hours means 20 because drug half an hour is there like that 
half it with CSS. Directly, you can be determined the concentration. If you want to know the steady state concentration, this is the equation you can use it. R0 is nothing but rate of infusion divided by Ke into Vd, elimination rate constant, volume of distribution. That is also, it is nothing but clearance. Clearance is nothing but elimination rate constant into volume of distribution. The clearance I have clearly told in my clearance topic. Okay, so it is nothing but rate of infusion divided by clearance is nothing but a concentration or steady state. Re steady state means rate of infusion is equal to rate of elimination. One drop is entered from drug, uh, from body also one drop is uh, exit. One drop entry, one drop exit. Constantly you are at maintaining the drug. C is nothing but concentration of a drug present in the body. CSS is nothing but a steady state. N is equal to number of half-life. R is equal R zero is equal to rate of infusion. K is nothing but elimination constant. VD, clearance, all we know. This is the thing what happened. See here, uh, I, I wrote here uh, absorption, uh, the, the infusion. Sorry, not absorption. Infusion. Infusion rate constant here. This is elimination rate constant. This is the model. So IV, IV infusion directly I am giving to here. So what happened, we will see. After some time, see, some drug concentration is there. After some time. At steady state, see, increased. The drug concentration is increased. When you stop the infusion, again reduced. See here. But it is there. Drug is there in the body. Even though you stop the infusion. I stopped infusion. Only I stopped. But up to that point, I have already given. No? That will be there in the body. No? So, infusion is stopped. Next, after a few days, either one day or two days, three days, again it becomes empty, like initial. So, slowly increasing, slowly decreasing. That point you have to keep in your mind. So, with the help of that only, we can draw the graph. See here. This is a time. This is a plasma drug concentration. Infusion. See here. Rate of infusion is equal to R0. This is a rate of infusion. So the drug concentration is increasing, increasing, increasing. At steady state, we will get straight line. See here, this is called a steady state. Okay. Steady state. Concentration. Whenever you go, it, it goes like that only. It goes. When you stop the infusion, then only there is a downfall starts. <coughs> Before that, never downfall will be there. Because already in there, no? when you, this is a point where you stop the infusion. So, it, so elimination will be there so that you will get like this curve. See here. When it is plotted on the similar graph, it gives the same minus Ke into 2.303 with the help of a slope y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. You can find the Ke value. This is already constant. We know very well. So this is a profile. If you double the infusion rate, R0, R0 is nothing but infusion rate. If you double it, see here rate of infusion is a two times greater rate of very fast greater okay here also steady state will come but it is not required this is more than enough and uh, semi lag plot uh, to compute see here I, I already told now only this part you have to take this part only elimination part you have to take uh, from here only t t values and all okay um, uh, and here uh, uh, you can draw this. So only elimination will be there. See here, only elimination drug concentration is go on decreasing uh, with the help of y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1. That is nothing but a slope. We can easily find out the Ke value. Okay. So if you put the Ke value in the in the in these equations, Ke, Ke value, CSS, okay, automatically you can get what will be the concentration of drug after some time. This is the derivation of the equation. Same from basic equation. See, rate of drug presentation in the body is equal to rate in minus rate out. This is basic equation. It is nothing but rate of infusion here, R0. Rate out is equal to Ke into X elimination that we know very well. Okay. Next, this equation you have to integrate. So integrate means R0 minus Ke. Like this it comes. 1 minus E to the power of minus Ke. And since we know amount of a drug is equal to uh, in the clearance topic, I already told you, volume of distribution into concentration is nothing but amount. Same we can put uh, the in the in this equation, C, X, in the X place. You can put it and uh, rearrange so that you will get this equation. Okay. At steady state, at steady state, uh, rate of change of a drug in the body is equal to zero. I already told you. 
rate of change of drug in the body is equal to that's why it is called a steady state so it becomes a zero so dx by dt will become a zero at steady state so zero is equal to rate in minus rate out steady state so like that css is equal to r0 divided by kv into vd with the help of this rate of infusion divided by clearance is nothing but a steady state concentration very important drug clearance if you know infusion rate you know 2 drops per second or 3 drops per second clearance automatically we know the drug clearance from the google css easily you can be find out okay and uh, substituting this second equation in the first equation you will get concentration of a drug at any time the same equation only i have shown in that these two equations i have shown okay these two equations i have mentioned here these are the final equations actually derivation generally in the examination they won't ask if they will ask you can write okay yeah this is my next video one compartment open model for extra vascular route oral route extra vascular okay not only oral extra vascular means i will tell you what are the various uh, routes